Hi, Casey. Hi. How are you doing today? I'm okay. I'm not doing too well. Okay, so you're still feeling nauseous? Yes. Alright. So, how is the pain level since I last checked on you? I, I feel like it's still the same at still, an 8. Okay, about an 8. So we have you on some IV pain medication and I'm going to order that we up the dosage okay. and also to try to put you on a different kind okay. um, just to try to be on top of the pain. Um, the surgery went really well. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to check and make sure that it's healing properly mm -hmm. but I wouldn't be worried about anything going wrong in terms of the surgery that we clean the area very well. Okay. Um, I just need to just do a head to toe examination to make sure that you're doing okay, all okay. right? Yeah. So do you feel like you have a fever? Do you feel any other symptoms besides just the nausea? The nausea, I feel okay. warm, but I don't think I have a fever. Okay, I can check. How's your heart rate? Do you feel like you're having those palpitations still or no. is that normal? Good. All right, and just to verify your date of birth, yeah, it's March 3rd, 1989. That's right. Awesome. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and begin the exam. You can okay. relax. Um, I'll do a cranial nerve portion, so I will be asking you some yeah. questions. But aside from that, you can just fall asleep whenever you feel tired. Okay, thank okay. you. Okay. I'm going to start by listening to your heart. So go ahead and breathe normally for me, okay? to your lungs now. Okay. Healthy. No issues here. Okay. I'm gonna sit on the other side. lungs, collapsed lungs, or difficulty in breathing. Okay. So I'm very pleased with that. Grab your blood pressure. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use this arm. If that's okay. Just lift it gently. Okay, you can go ahead and rest it here. 
here. That's 180 over 60. temperature. Okay, that's 35.6 degrees Celsius. That's normal. Oxygenation, you see your index finger here. Okay. So your heart rate is reading low, it's at 56 beats per minute. Your oxygenation is 97% at room air. Okay, so that's normal. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just move forward with the cranial nerve exam. I'm going to do a quick scalp check as well. I'm going to ask you to just lift your head slightly for me. I'm just going to take a look at your hair to make sure there's no infestations here. I'm going to set this braid aside. It's very cute. sure you have no infestations, irritation, or sign of cranial nerve damage that might stem from the scalp and the follicles of the skin. So just relax. 
don't see anything here. I'm going to take a closer look with a light. signs of dandruff or lice. I don't see any signs of a past flea infestation. No nets or eggs. Hair follicles look healthy. So, a lot of times the first signs of dehydration can stem from the scalp. I'm not seeing that, so the fluids that we've been giving you, I think, are the appropriate amount. Okay. the sensitivity of your scalp, okay? So I'm going to give you a puff of air. I want you to tell me if you feel the sensation once, twice, or three times, okay? Okay. Once. Twice. Once. Twice. Once. Three. point test. Let me know if you hear one or two pressure points, okay? Mm-hmm. Or you feel one or two pressure points? One. One. Two. Two. No irritation around the ear area, so that's good. I'll be doing a more thorough inspection of the ear in a bit. I just want to do a couple more sensitivity tests of the scalp. Alright, so this is a sharp or dull test. Okay, so this is going to be a sharp sensation. This is dull. Do you feel the difference? Yes. Okay, tell me if it's sharp or dull to you. Sure. 
Not to worry at this point, but we're just going to do wet or dry to make sure that you can differentiate between different moisture levels. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. This is a dry sensation. This will be wet. Do you feel the difference? Yes. Okay, say so wet or dry. Wet. 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 Dry. on your scalp, your hair looks healthy. Just gonna brush it through and take a quick look at the ends. with the hair. So I think I'm going to just move on to testing the sensitivity of your face and then also looking in your eyes and ears. Just testing the sensitivity of your face. I'm going to take this very soft tool and just make a line down from the very top of your head to your chin. Let me know if you feel it all the way. Yes. Okay. And did you feel that on your right or your left side? My left. Good. Did you feel that all the way? Yes. Very good. Did you feel on the right or the left side? Right. Okay, very good. And where do you feel this sensation? My nose. Good. Where do you feel this sensation? Right eyebrow. Good. And this sensation? Left eyebrow. All right. What about right here? Chin. Good. I'm going to do some very simple facial myotones. I'm going to just place my two fingers gently on the bridge of your nose. I want you to try to turn your head towards me, okay? Three, two, one. Resist my push. Good. Now to the right. Three, two, one. Excellent. Very normal. Straight. I'm going to be going closer to your ear. Turn towards me. Three, two, one. Good. And now turn the other way. Three, two, one. Excellent. Did you feel any pain in doing that? No. Good. Alright. Now I want to place my fingers right here on your chin. If you could try to turn your head up and look directly behind you. Three, two, one. Good. Now try to touch your chin to your chest. Three, two, one. Good. Smile for me, showing me all your teeth. 
Okay, frown. Okay, raise your eyebrows as high as you can. Lower them as low as you can. All right, stick out your tongue as far as you can. Move it from side to side. All right, excellent. Okay. but open them. I just want to take a look inside your eyeball. You could open them a little wider. Good. Okay. Okay, your pupils look round and reactive to light. I'm not seeing any issues here. Normal constriction of the pupil. No jaundice of the eye. Redness or excess veinage. Don't see signs of a sty, an eye infection, or dryness. No excess moisture as well. Okay. I'm gonna look in the other eye. Good. Go ahead and open that eye for me. Okay, same here. Very healthy activity. Normal constriction. Cornea and pupils look healthy and intact. The skin around the eye looks pink, moist, and healthy, you know, redness or yellowing. All right. Now keep your head exactly where it is. Look to your left. Look to your right. Look up. Look down. Did your eyes hurt when you did that? No. Okay, go ahead. All right. Now we're going to look straight ahead for me. Pick a point on the wall. Let me know when my fingers enter your field of vision. No. Okay. No. 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 Good. And which fingers are closer? The ones on your left or your right? My left. Okay. Right. Left. Right. Very good. All right. Lift your arm for me and hold this Stella Charter arm's length right here. Okay, I just want you to read a few rows for me. Can you read that first row here? Here. Yeah. Okay. What about this row starting with the O? O L C F. Good. And what about this row beginning with the C? C F D H J. Okay, and backwards. J H D F C. Beautiful. Can you read the last row? L T F P A. Wonderful. So you're displaying 2020 vision. Do you wear contacts or glasses? No. Okay. Wow. Um, can you tell me what color this is? Red. Okay. And what color is this here? Green. Good. Which circle is larger? Number nine or number five? Number nine. Okay. Number five or number two? Number five. Okay, number three or number two? Number three. Very good. Pretty happy with your eyesight. Just gonna make note of that. Have you been having any kind of dizziness since the surgery? No. Seeing double vision? No. Any floaters, things that aren't there that you see? No. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and switch your ears.
Okay. All right, just go ahead and just turn your head very slightly for me. Very good. Okay, your tympanic membrane is pearl gray. I'm gonna try to visualize it just a little bit better here. There we go. Some wax buildup. It is kind of obstructing the visualization of the canal for me. Um, with your permission, I'd like to clean that just a little bit. Does that sound good to you? Yeah. All right. Okay. Let me go ahead and look at the other ear to see if it's the same. I'm suspecting it will be. Yeah. Just a lot of wax. Sometimes it's hard to get that on on our own. Go ahead and turn your head just like it was. Very good. Okay. This should be a little bit tingly and cool. I'm seeing a lot of debris come out here, so I'm glad that I can take care of that. It's just gonna help me see the overall health of the ear. Okay. See? Perfect. Okay. I'm gonna take a better look in here. Very healthy follicles here. 
No damage to the membrane. Not seeing any signs of scarring. No flaking or redness. So I'm not worried about a ear infection. Has your ear been causing you any pain? No. Okay. Okay. Very good. If you don't mind just turning your head slightly to your side. Good. Let me get this out of the way. Still comfortable? Yes. Okay. You got a lot of that to bring out. Perfect. Okay. Just gonna look inside and make sure that it's healthy here as well. Beautiful tympanic membrane. Not seeing any damage, no signs of scarring. No damage to the eardrum. Good amount of protective hair here. No discoloration. The skin looks not inflamed. Okay. Go ahead and rest your head. I'm gonna make a rustling sensation. Let me know if you hear it in your left or your right ear. Right. Left. Both. Right. I'm going to just whisper a few words in your ear. Repeat exactly what you hear after me. Rose petal. Rose petal. Winter. Winter. Halloween. Halloween. Puppies. Puppies. Snowflake. Snowflake. Cornucopia. Cornucopia. Very good. Going to be making a vibrational sensation and placing it right outside the ear. Let me know when the vibration stops, okay? So I'm going to be doing a smell and taste test. Go ahead and 
open and close on a paper. Open again. What does that taste like to you? Cinnamon. Good. Okay. Okay. And again, open, close, open. What does that taste like to you? Vanilla. Very good. and ears are in spectacular shape, so nothing to worry about there. I'm going to give you a few scents to smell. You don't have to get these perfectly, but as long as you're close enough, it'll be good. Go ahead and inhale. What does that smell like to you? Mint. Good. Alright, inhale. What does that smell like to you? Rose. It was eucalyptus, so not perfect, but it wasn't too far off. Eucalyptus was a harder one. Alright. Let's give you one that should be pretty straightforward. Bubblegum. Mm, yes, that was bubblegum. Okay. And just one more. Go ahead and inhale. Lavender. Yes, that's lavender. So your smell, sense of taste and smell are perfect. stomach is still very sensitive from the operation. I would like to go ahead and give it a listen and do some very light palpations to make sure that I'm not noticing anything that's popping up or that your organs aren't reacting in any uh, obtuse way. Is that okay? Yes. All right. Okay. So, I'm just going to be listening. Just breathe normally for me, okay? some gurgling, but sounds like just normal digestional upset. Okay. Okay, sounds are normal. Take a deep breath in for me. And relax, breathe out. Alright, very good. Alright, so I'm just going to do some palpations, okay? So you're going to be feeling me just pressing down. If you feel any sharp pain, let me know. You should not be feeling that.
your organs feel normal. I'm staying away from the side of the surgery. I don't want to cause any irritation to the wound, but I just want to make sure that the organs are healing well around it. And it feels like they are. I'm going to go up a little higher here. Any pain? No. Okay, I'm gonna do some precautions. No, that was like an edema, so that's good. So do you mind if I lift the sheet here so I can take a look at your legs and yeah. feet? Okay. Alright, I just want to make sure you're not having any swelling from the surgery. Can I move your socks? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Here, if you could lift your leg very slightly, just want to make sure the ankles aren't swelling. Just measure this. Symmetric. Okay, and the other side. Symmetric. Okay. And then, which ankle am I squeezing? Your right or your left? My left. Right. Okay. Both. Oh, very good. And... Can I do one more sharp and dull test for your legs and feet? Okay. Sharp. 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 Pinsky response test. Okay. So, a little, a little bit lacking on that response. Okay, Casey. So I completed your head to toe exam. You're doing really great. Okay. In terms of nausea, we're going to bring in some more medication for you because you shouldn't be at this level of nausea right now. Okay. Um, but your cranial nerves are all intact. I'm not noticing any loss of sensitivity, mm -hmm. no neurological issues. So that's really good, okay? Okay. So we're going to keep you on your course of medication um, and adding, of course, the pain medication. You should be able to leave here in at least two days. Okay. Okay, how does yeah. that sound? Sounds good. Great. I'm going to be back here in about three hours. We're going okay. to do an abbreviated version of this exam. Yeah. Just to make sure that you're on the right track. Okay. And uh, do you need anything right now? No, thank you.
Okay, great. Well, thank you for allowing me to do this exam. Yeah. And uh, I'll definitely be seeing you again soon. Okay. Okay. Thank you.